we were, we were uh, celebrating my birthday at the precinct, and um, and then all of a sudden he just bailed, and now he's not answering my calls. Would you like to have a seat? No, no, it's not a big deal. You sure? Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's probably just Lucifer being Lucifer, you know? Probably. Okay, so. Hello. Hi again. What's your name? <laughs> so, what do we think of Candy? Well, I think she's perfect for Lucifer. Her bra size equals her IQ, huh? That's generous. Have you uh, touched Lucifer? Oh, I went to his place and some woman was over there. I didn't want to interrupt. But uh, it's not a big deal. You know, just giving him some time. Listen, Ella, he canceled. I guess he'd rather spend time with my ex than hang out with me, OK? OK, we'll work the crime scene. Lucifer, you coming? Lucifer's coming with me this time. Oh, <laughs> you're not here alone. Well, I have a guest, if that's what you're asking. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, oh, yes. It, it looks like you've had a few guests. Mm. Fun. <laughs> um, okay, well, this was a bad idea. It, it's okay. I, sorry to bother you. Eve did this thing with a conch shell. It was very creative. It's, I'll draw you a diagram if you no. like. No, we're good. We get it. I feel like I am right there with you. Detective, when you said you were fine hearing about my romantic life with Eve... Still am. Super fine. Fine with the aquarium story, fine with the vat of melted chocolate story, with the boning the entire cast of Cirque du Soleil story. <laughs> True. And I personally, I can't get enough. Because it's awesome. But right now, I am trying to concentrate. Whoa! Hey, was that an earthquake, or did you just rock my world? I don't think so. You got a boyfriend or something? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> David Lucifer, I was so stupid to think I could actually take a leap and trust you for once. I mean, a woman's life is on the line, and here you are doing... Wait, what are you doing? What you doing in Vegas? <sighs> Don't you look ravishing. Lucifer? Uh, sorry, I've got to go, Doctor. Speak soon. Bye. What did he say at the end there? Um, something about radishes. He said ravishing, didn't he? He's in Vegas with someone ravishing on my birthday. But you know what? Why, why do I even care? Why do I care? This is stupid. OK, feelings. Feelings are not stupid. Well, this one is, OK? This feeling is stupid. OK. OK, Lucifer and I are friends. Partners, that's all. I'm totally past anything romantic. Full on rear view in the past. Okay. Oh, um, the, the, the girl from the jewelry auction. You're still hanging out with her? Yes. Yes, she's, uh, she's been staying with me. <laughs> she's. Never mind. Uh, you know what? Never mind. It's not Pierce, it's Lucifer. When he started here, no one wanted to work with him. And I spent all this time training him, and now that he's somewhat of a decent partner, Pierce just swoops in and grabs him. Lucifer doesn't even blink. It's not cool. Right. Possessive much? Lucifer and Ella working on a case that I don't know about. Mm. Why? No reason. They just seem to be spending a lot of time together. Is someone jealous? What? No. No way. Gross. Because you can tell me if you are. Would you say that's the, uh, the crux of your issue? Oh, the crux of the issue? Oh, no, no, no. That would be loose for disappearing and then popping back up with zero explanation and a ditzy bimbo on his arm. He's cheated on you in, in five days of marriage. No, of course I didn't. I've been completely faithful. I take the vows of marriage very seriously. And that's why you chose an idiotic, bedazzled tweener as your partner. I, I just need to make a quick phone call first. Oh, OK. No worries. Private phone call, detective. Just 
Give me a moment. Yeah, sure. Wait, where's Lucifer? Oh, he's, uh, been ignoring me, actually. Oh, he's with Eve. Yes, probably with Eve. What do you think of her? I think that she's rubbing off on him and not necessarily in a good way. Good morning, detective. Please don't tell me she's behind me. She's behind you. Hello. Lucifer, this is a crime scene. No visitors, no offense, Eve. What? Look, you're the lieutenant. You call the shots. But the next time you want to steal my partner to tail the target of my investigation, you want to clue me in first? He left on my birthday. And I wasn't expecting a big party or anything huge. Maybe a card? You know, Lucifer is a non-traditional guy. And he celebrates in non-traditional ways. Right, like going to Vegas with some radish. Lucifer cares for you. I'm sure he's gonna come back with some crazy explanation that, that... I'll probably never hear about. That's fine. It's fine. I just hate that I sound jealous, because I'm not. I'm not jealous. I'm not. I just, um... He's just my friend, you know? I know. He's not really gonna leave us, is he? No, remember when Lucifer disappeared and he came back married? I mean, this is how he works through his issues. I, soon enough, everything will be back to normal, I'm sure. Yeah, you're totally right. He's gonna burn out and all these new ladies soon enough. Actually, it's just the one lady. What? Some party girl named Eve. Wait, what? Are you serious? I mean, if you're serious, that's serious. I'm not worried. I am not worried at all. There is no way she knows the real Lucifer like I do. Went to the bar right after she left. Well, what about the five minutes before she left? Are you jealous, Detective? No. I'm just trying to piece together a timeline. A lot can happen in five minutes. You can't be suggesting... That you slept with her? I'm not. This, here. Who? Oh. Right? Which is when he attacked victim number three. But... Victim number three had defensive wounds that matched skin flex under the fingernails of number four. So I'm thinking Duncan dropped the knife. Okay, number four picked it up, right? Attacked number three like this, mm -hmm. right? And then at some point, number five got involved. <laughs> and so on and so on until Full Yoga Massacre. Oh, that'll be what the panel's called. Full Yoga Massacre 2016. Oh, there you go. Okay. Turn around. Oh my god, I've got someone you have to meet. This is Eve. Yes, we have met. You expect me to let you go undercover with your stripper wife. Right, first of all, she's an exotic dancer. Stripper is pejorative. Well, far be it for me to disrespect your bride. Ella. Detective. Oh, um, I was just... Right. Is this about me and Ella in the penthouse? Look, who you sleep with is none of my business, but I mean, the lab tech, really? It's a little inappropriate. Well, much as I love to cross professional boundaries, Detective, I can assure you everything you saw was entirely work-related. So we should find out what Alexa knows, if I can have my partner back. Of course. <laughs> this is your ex-girlfriend from the beginning of time. Pretty much. I can't think of anyone I care about that much. Except for Miss Lopez. World's greatest forensic scientist? <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so sweet. Wait, did I miss my birthday? Well, every day is a celebration when you're around, darling. Mwah. <laughs> anyway. You know, I'm not happy. Of course, I want you to be happy, but the way that you're happy, it, it makes me uncomfortable. It, it makes me feel sick, to be honest. And yes, sometimes it makes me jealous. So, I hate the way you're happy. There it is.